developing story out of Imperial Beach where a Ponga boat capsized off the coast this morning. At least two people drowned while lifeguards rushed to pull several others out of the water. And the search continued for one other person possibly missing. Fox 5's Alain Latang has more. An early morning started off quick in Imperial Beach. It took the whole call it was just about an hour and a half long. Around 6 a.m., Imperial Beach Fire and Rescue responded to a ponga that tipped over near Cortez Avenue and Seacoast Drive. Officials say multiple people were on board. Imperial Beach Fire says they arrived to find multiple agencies there, including Imperial Beach and San Diego lifeguards, U.S. Coast Guard, and U.S. Border Patrol. And we broke off into a uh, medical group. So then we're in charge of triaging all the patients, uh, treatment, and uh, arranging transport to the local hospitals. Imperial Beach Fire Captain says Border Patrol had seven people in custody. Imperial Beach lifeguards pulled two more people from the water, both who had died. The large surf at the time made it challenging for the rescue. Six to eight foot waves. It was just massive pitching waves. So. The, uh, the boat was probably just tossed um, and all the individuals just immediately submerged. When this all happened, there were quite a few surfers in the water. They saw the people in trouble and then started to rescue them. Officials believe there is one more, a tenth person missing. Officials are not yet releasing the identities or information about the people involved. It's also unclear where the boat came from or where it was headed to. For Fox 5 News, I'm Alani Latang in Imperial Beach.